You copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Sir, sir, pode entrar. That doesn't oh, look there. like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. You don't see mother and fucking thing. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Look out! Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. This what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone, if you do. Looks like I'm close. Shit! Another oh, checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight. Look out! Why don't you back? Almost there, Dustin. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? Well, f wait, what am I supposed to do? Just run past his ass? I don't know what the fuck you do. Power 
Oh, fuck. And oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe go after him, dumb fuck. Hurry, Jasmine. Deal with him. If he gets away with the artifact, we're screwed. You can't let that happen. Did he just disappear into the elevators? I fucked up. Oh, you got a gun? Fuck off. So now what? Oh, that worked. Okay, head for the metro. I'll hold the train for you. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. What is a fact? Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. A hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree. What might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. To direct the beam. To enthrall the world. To speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Mm, what did you try next, pray tell? Travel back 
to change the past. But we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward. And so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. First we watched to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking. And instead, began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Yeah, that's a good idea. I wouldn't trust some random apparition that appears before me constantly, speaking cryptically as fuck. Also, I'm pretty certain I should have been in this little area um, the last time we were in the modern world, but, you know, I didn't see where the door actually opened, so I didn't really pay attention. Did I just do a circle? Pretty much. Alright, so where the fuck do I go now? I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't no shit. Daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics? Or 
hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. It just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. That's definitely not cryptic as fuck. I mean, obviously it means just go back into the animus. But what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so does this lead me somewhere properly now? Yes, it does. Oh. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there, there wasn't, wasn't one. Not, not for him. him. Not, not for us. So, ritual sacrifice. Yay. Oh, yay, I'm a sacrifice. impulses and the body a vessel to hold these sparks but it is weak in time it decays and crumbles into dust we asked ourselves then what if it might be replaced with something stronger something better so we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away? Why is her character design like the absolute worst in this fucking game?
Is that it? I think so. Until we find the next piece. Back into the animus, motherfuckers. So oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? You're gonna get kidnapped. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll be back soon. Either you're a traitor, or you're about Ready to get you captured. Are, Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. <laughs> 